All right, Ugly Kid Joe with everything about you. This is a great beginner lesson. It's really, really fun to play, and you are going to learn it, yo. I am Finbar of Finbar Bass. Okay, so what are those bass videos all about down when you click on the YouTube text box right there? Well, bass playing is, is kind of a time of discovery, you know? It's like an adventure. You're learning new stuff all the time. You're increasing your chops. You're getting better, right? So we need to practice bass. And when we're practicing, you know, and learning all these different techniques, like through these videos, why not make it fun, right? I mean, that's great. If you can actually get better on the bass, you know, and learn all these different songs or techniques or whatever, and, you know, and have fun doing it instead of just doing it through, you know, repetitious, you know, study, um, then that's, that's a fantastic thing and that's fun. You're doing it through something that you love. You're doing it through music. And, and that makes it just so much easier to do and so much better. So don't forget, click on the uh, clicker box right down there in the YouTube text box. Um, I think it's really going to help you out. Ooh, and I almost forgot. For this lesson, you have to tune a half step down. That's how I worked it out. So, so what you're going to do is you are going to drop every single uh, string down a half step. So the E, the A, the D, and G, they're all going down a half step. Once you do that, you will be in tune. All right, so what's happening through most of this song on bass, what you're doing there is two hits on that fifth fret of the A string, then hold it for a second, rest for a second. What that is is you're going fifth fret of the A, second fret of the A, third fret of the E string, right? And then you're on the uh, open A string. So you got, so far, I'll do it slow. So you're gonna hit that open A string twice and then mute it out. I just put my hand right on the uh, strings to mute it, see? And then you're gonna hit it three times. That's the open A string. What that is, hit the open A three times, second fret of the A, and then open again. And then it starts over. So if I did all that together slowly, Just like that. At the end of the progression, you're gonna play that a little bit more staccato. All right, so you got, and I'm muting. I'm hitting the A string, excuse me, but I'm muting every time I hit it. So instead of, we have, just like that. Sometimes in this song, you hear the old, and it'll stop. So that's easy. That's just that's right. The, just the very beginning of what I just showed you before. The only thing is you stop it with one open A. Normally you'd go, but now you're just going, and that's it. So you got stop. And when he sings, um, "I hate everything about you," which I guess is the uh, the chorus. Um, the first time you're going to hit this third fret of the E string. And then you're going to stop, bing. You're going to hit that fifth fret of the uh, E string, which is just like hitting the open A. You could do that if you want to. Just like that. Whatever you want to do. Um, and then he sings it. Uh, later on in the song, you're going to be alternating between the third fret and the fifth fret of the E. You're going to be all. or third fret of the E and open A. Just like that. <clears throat> now sometimes you'll see this tabbed out. Like that, so that's third fret of the E, fifth fret, you throw in a uh, fifth fret of the A in there, and then fifth fret of the E. So instead of just, like we said, right? Instead of that, you're gonna go, but I don't actually hear that note in there, at least in, in my studio version. So, so I don't add that there. I just I just play the third to the fifth fret. You want to add it? 
be my guest. Right before the bridge, you're gonna hear this. Just a little, little descender right there. And that is the fifth fret of the A, third fret of the A, and then open. And the bridge goes like this. And what you're doing there is, whoops. It's actually that fourth fret. So what you're doing there is two hits on that third fret of the E string. Then you're gonna go up chromatically. You're gonna go to the fourth fret of the E and then fifth fret of the E. So you got, see that's third fret, third fret, fourth, fifth. Then you're alternating between the third and the fifth once again. You do that twice and then back to the fourth fret. And that sets you up to do that, do that again. Just like that. And then at the end of that progression, you're gonna hear. And all you're doing there is you're just hanging on that fifth fret of the E string for like a measure and and then one extra note, so like nine, nine hits on there. You can spice it up and hit the octave if you want, which that would be on the seventh fret of the D string. So that's actually really easy. What you're doing there is you're hitting on the fifth fret of the A string. I usually give it a little ghost note, right? So you're gonna get twice, ghost note, and then one more time. All right? And then you just go up chromatically, second, third, and um, fourth fret. Just like this. And then you're back on this fifth fret right over here where you do the same thing. So you got hit, hit, ghost note, hit. And you could jazz that up however you want. And you'll see that really tabbed all different sorts of ways. You see that actually tabbed um, incorrectly a lot. <clears throat> but um, that's basically the gist of it. There you go. Everything about you from Ugly Kid Joe. Don't forget, click on the link right down on the bottom there, the little YouTube text box to get those lessons if you haven't already. Three lessons, beginner, intermediate, advanced lessons right there for you. Also, you could always subscribe to Finbar Bass and get a lot more of these uh, song tutorials and all kinds of tutorials, really. There's there's theme music and movie music and all kinds of stuff on there. All, just It always keeps uh, playing your bass and practicing fun. You know, it's like... There's so much stuff on there. There's like 230 or something like that. I always forget how many it is, but there's a lot of videos on there. So that means that you never get bored when you're playing. If you ever want to learn something weird or different, look at the list. I mean, like I said, there's not just, you know, you get bored playing songs all the time. Actually, believe it or not, there's, there's so much music, but every once in a while you get bored, you want to play something different. So you want to play something from maybe a computer game. You know, you want the Halo theme or something like that, or the, um, you know, the Pink Panther theme or Spider-Man or something like that, you know, or, or some kind of, you know, anime theme or whatever. Um, or maybe you want to play some saxophone music on your bass or a guitar part, whatever, it's on there. So anyway, check that out. If you subscribe, it's fantastic because you'll always know when the new videos are coming. Um, and other than that, have fun with it, yo, as always.